Hey guys, I'm just going to be demoing the tool Brut Spray. Um, it just automatically brute forces uh, services with default credentials um, based off of nmap output. Uh, for today's demo, I just have a couple VMs set up here with some services and uh, let's uh, get to scanning them. So we're going to be uh, scanning it on this uh, 1011 network. So I already got an nmap scan ready to go. Um, and we're just going to output that to everything. But um, Brute Spray right now only reads scrubbable nmap output. So let's just go ahead and kick this off. So we can see that the map scan finished, um, and it does appear that we're running uh, SSH on a non-default port, and uh, Brute Spray um, is capable of picking up non-default ports if you use the uh, dash S V flag with nmap. So now let's go ahead and uh, run Brute Spray on this nmap scan. And uh, we'll do um, five threads, and then uh, capital T will be uh, parallel hosts. So since there's two, we'll do uh, two parallel hosts at the same time. So as we can see, that we already got some success on uh, Postgres. Um, Brute Spray does brute force in the background um, and then outputs as the buffer fills up. And here you can see that it did find that SSH port that was on a non default port of uh, port 2222. And there we found some uh, FTP credentials as well. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this at this point. <clears throat> so Brute Spray will automatically write its successes to output files, so you don't have to sit there and monitor um, your successes from Medusa. So we'll just uh, take a look at what we got here. So we can see that um, it found um, SSH on the non-default port, um, root password, and uh, also admin password. And then also for Postgres, it found out that it can log in as uh, the default Postgres user and password. So let's go ahead and give these a shot and see if uh, Root Spray found them correctly. Oh yes, non-default port. So there we go. This is that box, so... Um, just do the power off command, which you wouldn't want to do on a live pen test. But we can see that the box is powered off, so... Yeah, so, uh, enjoy the tool. Um, feel free to open some issues, recommendations, and contribute as needed. Thanks, guys.